Welcome everyone. Hope that you are doing well. And man, I tell you, I have had so much fun going through the book of Romans and dealing with these doctrines on justification, sanctification, and, and uh, we're going to get into justification here in a little bit. But uh, as I was studying uh, on my own and talking with some of my friends, I realized that not all of us really have a good understanding of sanctification. And I say that uh, especially in a lot of our mainstream um, churches today. So I want to share something with you, uh, and it might sound weird. It might sound like you're out there, but I'm going to tell you, uh, I have been you know, a, a believer for many, many years now. And when I get into sanctification, I realize that there are things in my life that the Holy Spirit has been dealing with in me, uh, that I have a hard time to get rid of. And it seems that, that they come up from time to time. And it's important for us to realize that sanctification is a process by which the Holy Spirit is doing a work in your life, separating you from sin unto the Lord so that you can be free to do the work. And the problem that I see facing today, and this is why I want to stop and just kind of have this conversation, is that there are a lot of people that think the day I came to Christ and I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life, he set me free. And I don't have to worry about all the, that junk anymore. No, that's not true. Why do you have, why is the doctrine of sanctification there? I mean, if, if, if you're, if you're perfect and you say, well, no, I'm not perfect. I still have some issues. What do you think the issues are? And I, and I think the, the issue that you're having is that the, the liar, the devil, has put stuff in your head, and he keeps on bringing up your past. And a lot of people live in fear. They live in shame. They live in guilt. And that, is all com that all comes from things before you got saved. And you have brought it into your, into your Christian walk. And you're still dealing with it. And you think, well, that's just who I am. And so that's what I want to talk to you about, because sanctification is uh, separating you from that lie. That is a lie from hell. The moment that you sit down and you say, well, I'm just, this is just who I am. I can't break this or that. You are rejecting the promise of God, because God said you are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. And when you operate in a lie, you can't receive fully the promises of God. So even though you've been cleansed by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the fact remains that in your head, you're still dealing with some issues, <clears throat> excuse me, that God is wanting to get rid of in your life. I want to hit this one scripture, and, uh, and then we will, um, we are going to continue uh, next time to really get in to a sanctification and deal with it so we can understand how to live victorious. So here in this scripture, in Romans chapter 7, verse 17, I simply want you to see what he says here. So now it is no longer I who do it. In other words, it's not, I'm, I've been set free according to the, the grace and, and my faith and the grace of, of God and the power of the gospel. Um, that's in my life, but sin that dwells in me, the sin's still there, the effects of sin. And so that's what we're going to discuss in the days ahead. So I simply want to share that with you, and I want to thank everyone for listening. And we've got some deep stuff we're going to deal with because we need to be made whole in Christ. Until next time, may God bless you richly.